Welcome to the Getting Started Overview of AnyTune for Mac. AnyTune will help you learn, transcribe, practice, and even perform your favorite music. The Mac version works very much like the AnyTune Pro Plus for iPad. If you're new to AnyTune, think of it like a music player such as iTunes, with extra features for learning and practicing music. Let's get started. The first thing we need is a song. You can import a music file or play any song in your iTunes library. Just go to any iTunes category in the Tunes list and double click on a song. The song's waveform will appear. Now click play and press the spacebar. The Tunes list is hidden and revealed with this button. You can hover over any control to see a description of its function. Open the keyboard shortcuts from Help in the menu bar. This will be good to keep handy while you're learning your way around. You can adjust the song's tempo to make it easier to hear the notes or play along, or change the pitch of the song to match the tuning of your instrument or voice. Click plus or minus buttons on the tempo slider, or click and drag the slider for fine adjustment. Double-clicking the slider toggles between the original tempo and your last setting. You can also right-click on the slider and choose a value from the menu or set the value with your keyboard. The pitch control works the same way. The plus and minus increment the pitch by a semitone. Drag the slider for a finer adjustment. These values will be remembered the next time you play the song. There are also keyboard shortcuts for most GUI commands. Up and down arrows for adjusting tempo. Command up and down for adjusting pitch. Add the shift key for fine adjustment. Okay, let's have a quick look around. At the top, you will see the Tunes List button. The next and previous song buttons will navigate through the current list of songs. Next, you will see the current song's artist, album, title, and list info. The beats per minute are taken from the song metadata settable on iTunes. If not present, any tune will calculate a value. Or you can override with your own value, like this. To the right you see the mode buttons including wave view, EQ view, and lyrics view. We will come back to these. At the bottom you see more controls including volume, a cluster for marks, the play and skip replay buttons, and then the loop cluster. We will talk about these shortly. In the full song waveform view you will see the time position of the playhead and the time remaining in the song after the playhead as well as the position of the A slider and the B slider. The A and B sliders define the current loop. You also see controls for pan and gain, for music and input. But let's talk about navigation first. AnyTune lets you visualize your song and find the parts you want to learn or practice quickly. You will see two waveform views on the screen. The smaller bottom view shows a waveform for the entire song. The larger top view shows a zoomed in section of the track centered on the playhead location. You can move through the song by dragging the playhead to anywhere on the smaller view, or by scrolling in the large view by clicking and dragging the waveform, or by scrolling horizontally. You can also double click on the small waveform to move the playhead to that position. The skip and replay buttons, or shift left right, will move the playhead forward or backwards in the song. Set the number of seconds in preferences. One of the great things about AnyTune is audio marks and loop marks. Tap the M key or click the mark button to create marks in the song, kind of like an audio bookmark. To see the list of marks, click the marks list button. You can create marks for each section of a song, like intro, verse, chorus, and solo. Move through your marks with the next and previous mark buttons. or click the mark in the marks list. The mark name will appear for a moment in the waveform view. There are virtual marks at the beginning and the end of the song. Select a mark and click the name to change it. You can select preset names from the pull down menu. and add your own names to the list in Preferences. 
You can also add a note to each mark. The marks can be displayed as they are passed in the song. You can drag the mark in the zoomed or full view to adjust its position in the song. Use audio marks to make it easy to navigate to parts in your song, or make notes for yourself, or to share with others. The marks are automatically saved, backed up to iCloud, and can be shared to all your iCloud connected devices, and with your friends over email. Now let's look at loops. When you're working on a song, it's great to break it down and focus on small parts. You can create a loop in a song with the A and B sliders. Drag the sliders in the small or large waveform views. Once they are positioned, press the loop button to loop the highlighted section of the song. You can also use the A and B buttons to set the positions of the loop sliders. The X button returns A and B to the start and end of the song. While playing a song, press the A key or click the A button at the beginning of the loop and click or press B at the end. Slow down the loop so you can learn the piece or play along. There are several keyboard commands to adjust and move your loop. You can nudge the A or B slider or the entire loop just a bit forward or back to get it just right. You can half or double the length of the loop. If you've mastered one section, shift the loop down to work on the next. You can also extend the ends of the loops to marks or move the starting position of a loop to a mark. And if this is a loop you want to keep or share, turn it into a loop mark, clicking the loop mark key or pressing S. A loop mark appears in the marks list where you can edit its name and add a note. Once you have the loop you want to practice, you can use the Step It Up Loop Trainer. set the starting tempo and the end tempo and the number of repetitions. Start slow and build up your speed playing that tricky section of the song. The loop delay button adds a settable delay between each iteration of the loop to give you a break for the next go. Set the value and preferences. Speaking of delays, you can also use a delayed play so you can have time to get your fingers in position. Shift space. I won't be able to cover all the features in this video, but let's try to get a few more. Auto loop is an alternative to using the A and B sliders. Create marks in your song, enable auto loop in the marks list view, now, click on a mark in the mark list and a loop is created between marks. A quick and easy way to break up a song and work through it. Okay, back to the music. Song files are either imported into AnyTune or played directly out of your iTunes library. AnyTune preferences allow you to copy imported files into AnyTune or play them from the original location. Either way, once they are played, they'll show up in your All Tunes folder. You can drag songs into any tune from any folder. Drag them directly from the iTunes app. Open a music file in any tune or use the Add to AnyTune command from the menu to import any file on your Mac. Note AnyTune may ask you for permission to access files. Songs that have been marked up show in the Marked Tunes list. You can create folders to hold playlists and playlists to create a set for a show, or songs your teacher wants you to work on. Search your entire music library here. Or filter the songs you see to find just what you're looking for.
you can sort by song attributes and add a note to a song. You can change the title, artist, and album for the imported songs, but not the ones played directly from your iTunes library. Now, for a very quick overview of some of the other features, hang on. You can adjust gain, balance, and pan of the music. Pan is great to listen to an instrument that was recorded in one channel or ear by moving it to center stage. Enable live mix and mix audio from your favorite song with an external input like an electric guitar or microphone connected to your Mac. AnyTune also lets you apply the Fine Touch EQ to either or both the input and the music. Settings are saved with a song or create a preset to use with many songs. The lyrics view will display lyrics stored in the song or allow you to add your own. Add ASCII tabs or chord charts and edit them to scroll with the music. You can even export a tune song. Create half and three quarter speed versions of a song for your student. Okay, that's a lot to take in in one sitting. Go ahead and play around. Many of the features of AnyTune were suggested from users. AnyTune also has a 30-day trial version, so there's no excuse not to give it a try. Thank you for your time and happy practicing.